Originality Reports uses the power of Google Search to help students properly integrate external inspiration into their writing, making it easy for students to check their citations and compare their work to billions of web pages and millions of books. Originality Reports must be enabled by teachers for each assignment they'd like to use it on in Google Classroom. Let's take a look at how to do that now. First, we need to go to the Classwork tab. Next, let's edit this existing assignment we've made earlier. This assignment already includes a Google Doc template I'd like to copy for each of my students. Now all I need to do is select Check Plagiarism Originality. And now let's select Assign. Now let's wait a moment for one of our students to hand in some work and we'll take a look at what Originality Reports looks like. Great, so one of our students has now handed in their work. So let's select View Assignment and then let's click on their work. And if we look over on the sidebar, we can see there are two flagged passages by Originality Reports. Let's click on this now. On the right hand side, it shows us the web matches for the flagged passages and highlights these within the document. It's worth noting at this point that educators using Google Workspace for Education Fundamentals can turn on Originality Reports for five assignments per class, and students can run Originality Reports on their assignment three times before submitting their best work. With the Teaching and Learning Upgrade, or Education Plus, educators can get unlimited Originality Reports, and they can also check against private domain-owned repository of past student work. This feature is called School Matches and it can be configured in the Google Admin Console. Let's go there now. From the Google Admin Console, you can manage Google Classroom by going to Apps, Google Workspace, Classroom. And then if we scroll down, you can find the settings to manage originality reports. From here, you can enable the setting to enable originality reports school matches. And once this is enabled, teachers can compare assignments to previously submitted work by other students in your school. School matches will then automatically save in an auto-created shared drive. This is where new student submissions are stored for future scans. Well, that's it for this video about originality reports and school matches. Thanks for watching.